Hello everyone, welcome back to another chat GPT tutorial. This one going to show you how to use the new image or visual functionality in particular, how to upload an image to chat GPT. Before I show you, keep in mind that this is being rolled out to people or to users over time here. So you may or may not have access to this at this moment, but it should be there pretty quick. Okay, that out of the way, let's go. So you'll see here I'm in chat GPT four. And right now I'm in browse with Bing. So I'm basically making it internet capable. In order to upload images and do the visual stuff, you actually want to switch back to default. When you do this at the bottom, you're going to see this little, uh, I guess, attach images. This tiny little icon has appeared. This also works on the uh, mobile version as well. But uh, there you go. You'll see this little attach images. This is all you need to do. Now click on that button. And when you do that, you'll get some options. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. This is an image of my bulldog named Kingston. And I'm going to be like, hey, does my dog need braces? So you'll see here that I'm just typing in underneath the image. And then once you do that, you'll see here, here's an image of my dog right before he went in for some uh, 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 mouth surgery and he had to get his tooth, little tougher there fixed. But there you go. Your dog's appearance suggests it's a French bulldog and they often have an underbite. So there you go. It's already working. It's giving me a great answer. And then it talks about going to a veterinarian or a veterinary dentist. I don't think there's dentists for bulldogs, but whatever. Let's have some fun. I'm going to stop this one. Let's do another one, but this one's going to have code. And this one's probably a little bit more up your alley. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click attach images again here. And remember making sure that you're in chat GPT four. In fact, I'm going to start a new chat because it's a different topic. Again, in default. Now I'm going to click on attach images. And this one is right here. I've got HTML code for a web page. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say, Hey, what, what is the code saying in this image? Oops. You can type this in anyway, but I'm just going to go ahead and just type something like that in. And I'm going to basically, I'm saying like, Hey, what is this? So the code in the image is an HTML document structure, which is correct. And here's a breakdown of what it says. Look at that. Hey, this is how you can use just drop an image in even an image of code. So you could take a screenshot of some fancy JavaScript or some fancy whatever Python code, drop it in and it'll give you a great little read back like this. Now, while it's doing that, I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to go, OK, great. Write out this code for me. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and stop generating here because you don't need to see this. I'm just going to go, great, write out this code for me. I'll hit enter. Watch this. Of course, here's the code written out. And there we go. It's giving me the code. And once it's done, I can click on copy code. So do you see how awesome this is? I'm going to start a new chat while this one's going. I'll show you one more example. I'm going to click on attach images. And then this time I'm going to just basically show you this whiteboard. And this whiteboard is basically like a, a, a document flow diagram. So what is this? Oops, is this whiteboard about? Whatever, click enter. And then look at this. So here it is. It's start. Yes, no. So it's basically just a standard diagram. It's a flow chart. Bang. Here we go. It's describing exactly what's going on in these images. That is literally all there is to it. This is an amazing new tool. I'm going to test it out and show you a few more examples shortly. But anyways, that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.